Okay, so this is going to be the first part of Les Invalides, and we're going to pick up from the checkpoint. Should be pretty simple to get here once you've beaten the unstable charger, or whatever it's called, from the boat. Nothing to see over this way. That is going to be where we probably finish the episode as we loop around and unlock a load of shortcuts. But now we're going to head up this way just because there's free loot for us to pick up. So we're going to head to the top. We're probably going to get chased by an enemy that's on the right-hand side. It's completely fine. There's only one for now, so we can deal with that at our leisure. Don't think it actually has any loot down here. No, it does. Didn't forget. <laughs> Didn't remember, should I say. I did forget. That was the incorrect thing to say, wasn't it? Uh, and then we want to jump over here. Uh, up in the tree is Hidden Snake. Um, it's just going to help us to unlock some trophies. If we make sure we're knocking those out of the trees. Excuse me. Man, I didn't follow up. I wasn't brave enough to finish that off, was I? It's such a shame. Pick up the water flask. That is a minor quest item. We've got an enemy over there. We're actually going to choose to shoot that to draw it over to us. Come here. Because we've got a couple of dogs on the left and we don't really want to get mobbed. Excuse me, we want you. Uh, we should get, um, I believe, a piece of bronze or iron soon. And we're going to want to use that. Um, it's actually going to be a really good damage boost. <clears throat> but more importantly, impact boost on Halberd, which is going to be quite important as we move forward in a second. You'll see why. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll show why. Maybe I will show why. Maybe people will get something out of that. It makes the video a little longer than I'd like it to be, but it does demonstrate something. So we've got the Essence of Lesser Spirit, that's fine. We jump over there. That's going to be a shortcut back here in a second, but it's not mega important. I'm going to come through this way. So note that, obviously, <clears throat> just for some groundedness, we've come straight up the road. We've already cleared on the left. This is actually the way we're supposed to go. Down this way, then, is an optional quest. Um, and something that I want to test, actually. So we're going to pick up these grenades. Oh, they're not grenades, they're granite, granite cobblestones. I thought we picked up grenades here. Oh, we did already pick them up. We're going to put those on our tool belt. Uh, and there's a load of enemies here, and I feel like it's it's giving us a clue by putting these grenades there. I'm going to try and bottleneck them in this gateway. Yeah, there we go, see? So yeah, I feel, like, I feel like it's given us a clue to use grenades on the dogs. It's not really worth it in terms of, like, anima gain. Um, because they cost, like, 300 to buy more. But we can carry loads of them, and they're quite effective. The grenades are really, really strong. If you don't mind grinding the uh, the anima up for them, um, they do do good damage. And as you just saw, um, they can really simplify some encounters. We've got Snake over here. Should probably heal. down and we'll do that again okay so at this point come straight to the gate and open it you have iframes frames whilst you're opening the gate so you really want to get that done before this guy starts attacking you just in case you never know what accidents you might have we're gonna not take any chances with this guy though oh man I didn't realize you had a second poke on that He's normally just one poke. Hmm. That's you down. Lesser spirit. Bronze ingot. That's for upgrading a weapon. We've got the water for you already. Let's get through this. Grant her request. There we go. It's done. I don't know how worth it the grenade is, but just in case it's important later, we have given her the goods. So I'm going to show you guys something here. We're going to go ahead and we're going to fight against a pot enemy here. And I'm going to show you guys that we can't knock it over right now. And then we're going to nip back to the checkpoint that we were just at. And then we're going to upgrade the weapon so you guys can just see uh, the difference that having enough impact is going to make to your weapons and how you progress through this area.
There are, of course, other ways to deal with these, but this can be a bit of a pain in the ass. Mostly because they have lots of spinning attacks. They can't be blocked, as far as I know. Uh, but you can see, it kind of stands up there and does nothing. But now, if I nip on back to the checkpoint and upgrade the halberd, as it turns out, we need 1,500 anima, so I'm going to use some more of my anima items. See, it's just burn them all. It's fine. I'm going to upgrade our weapon. This is probably a good use of your anima at the beginning. You're going to get far more benefit out of increasing the level of your weapon than actually a level, probably, um, at this stage of the game. What we'll find now is when we do the charge attack on the pot boy, we'll be able to knock it over, which makes them much more manageable. So, come here, you. We have demonstrations to make. So, being able to knock them back like that just makes them much more um, easy to deal with. Note that there seems to be some kind of reset time. Often, if you try and do it straight away afterwards, look, it'll do a stagger rather than a knockdown. Um, but I still just think it's better that I didn't want to do that roll there. Slowed down my charge up a little bit. Let's get a heal on. Excuse me. But overall, I just find that to be a nice way to deal with them. Grenades work. Um, I haven't tried doing immobilization build upon them. I'm sure that works too. Um, there are some pretty cool ideas for like immobilization builds because once you get far enough in, there's actually the ability to heal from doing crit damage. So lots of ways for us to tackle the challenges here, which is just something I really like about this game. We've got an ambush over that way, but first we want to turn right. We have another ambush to deal with first. We're going to find pot boys all over the place now, which is unfortunate. But as you can see, we are now um, wrecking through these. We're gaining anima faster because we're facing like higher level enemies and we're capitalizing on that with the avaricious module. I guess they don't want us clipping through walls. Uh, and you'll find that happens happens quite a lot. Walls act like as um, shields for both sides. So if the enemies try to fight you through the wall, um, the attack shouldn't hit you, which is kind of nice. I guess it's to avoid a lot of the things that we do in Souls games, where we try and clip through the walls. Uh, but sometimes it can have it can also be problematic sometimes when it kind of um, misinterprets where the hitbox should be and stuff. Um, so just bear that in mind when you when you find some of these tighter areas. You messed me up there, sir. You messed me up. Oh, and there's the one I was talking about right there. Look at that. Grade 1 critical repair module. And the cast iron that we've just picked up is um, what we need to actually upgrade a weapon to level 2. So the next time when we find some bronze, and I think we need two bronze to get to level 2, um, we can upgrade the halberd again, which is going to be real nice. I'm going to come up to the right. Two dogs and a pot boy just there, which is... Well, not pleasant, especially with uh, what we have available to us right now. Doing resistance file. We're not exactly coming up against too much fire right now. But uh, nice to have anyways. Stick it heal here. Come here, doggy. I'm use that just to draw you over. Come on. Hehe. <laughs> I didn't realise I was going to one-shot you. Probably could have gone for a sneak attack there. Oh, never mind. I've, I've alerted it now. Oh, let's go. Note that when you uh, knock these ones down, they get sent back quite far. To try and do the follow-up attack, as you saw, I just tried to do there out of um, habit more than anything. Uh, it doesn't really work out well for you. So these guys, you're best off kind of chipping away at them. You don't really want to get too many combos off, because some of their attacks are just hit like trucks. That's going to hurt. I should have aborted that attack there. Getting dominated by this one. But we have more health and the armor is probably coming in clutch here as well. Fire chain. I actually quite like this weapon. Oh, look at that. That means we have enough to upgrade the halberd again. Um, and for now, we are going to be um, targeting just like one weapon at a time, just so that we are getting the benefits of upgrading a weapon. Um, I feel like that's probably the intention. 
So the fire chain that we just picked up is actually pretty good if you want to actually go full on for the elemental build. Um, it has a decent amount of range on it. Actually has a, apparently, well according to its stats it's supposed to have a lot of impact but I've not managed to proc it very well. Um, but um, you're able to put fire damage onto your weapon which allows you to start proccing um, the fire status on enemies. We're going to grab this. Ouch. Yeah, it's fine. We've got a shortcut right here back to the um, the Vestal. So that's our first shortcut unlocked. Um, and it's kind of the first half that I want to do for the video. We want to unlock the second gate before I actually kind of close this out. So that's what we're going to do. Finally, though, we're in a position where I want to do some leveling. <laughs> I've been saving... Uh, not been saving, but I've been doing stuff that I suppose is outside of the remit of leveling generally. Um, get a bit more engineering or could have a bit more health. Yeah, engineering. Just to keep things going nicely. Even though I'm not really using status effects too much yet, um, it just is really good. Particularly against bosses. You really are not going to regret having good status against bosses. Um, or in some of the next areas as well. So in the next area that we'll go to, um, there are enemies that are different, uh, weak to different elements. And being able to pick on those is quite useful. So, so here we have, as you might have guessed from the cannonball, we have cannon guy up there. Uh, it stays up there, so realistically speaking, the, the play is to draw this guy over. Could grenade it if you wanted. I don't know how much damage that's going to do. Let's have a look. <laughs> so silly. Missed. Bad timing for me. Come on. Um, these ones are hard to harder to fight because they have such a good um, variety of attack types. So you got like side swirly stuff like that. It's got overhead that'll catch you if you go backwards, and it's got some long reach ones as well. So, the, these ones you kind of have to have patience with, which is why I suck at them, because I'm terrible at patience. Oh man. I think that sound is not a good idea. Yeah. Should have followed up, followed up on that, really. Cool, so that done we can loot the courtyard. I don't think there's too much down here. There are a couple of bits. I feel like there is something anyways. Hello. Platform on the guy, yeah, I did. Yeah, we're good. Okay, so next up, then oops, back up to the square or courtyard, I guess you might call this, and onto this balcony. I've just noticed that's got the white paint for climbing on there. Want to go up on this, Oop. then up on this, then we can come on in onto the chest. Muscadin Colots. Uh, I guess these go with this, right? Let's have a look. They give more endurance. So we can trade some armor for endurance, look, which is interesting. I do like endurance, so we're going to do it. Especially now early on when we haven't really got the, uh, got the spare levels at the moment. Okay then, so, if you're feeling in a bad way because of the encounters we've just been doing, um, if you just stick left on the wood all the way down, you can unlock the um, the next shortcut, which is what I want to do for the end of this video. Pretty easily, but we are going to deal with a few encounters on the way down here. Are the dogs already aggroed? Interesting. No, it's just the guy with the cannon. Okay. I was going to say. So, realistically, what you want to do here is, you don't want to run into this guy. Um, ow, I didn't know you could get me there. You don't want to run in, just run into this guy because there's a load of dogs protecting his sides. So the way to aggro them for some reason is to come down here. And then we can just come on out. Don't get trapped down there. 
Then we can bring the dogs over. Can't see because of the flowers. Come on. Come somewhere that's good for me. Here we go. I suppose if we wanted, we could have upgraded the weapon. But we're okay for now, anyways. Uh, NPC here, this is just a bit of extra lore, as far as I can tell. Um, so far, I haven't found, like, a, uh, a quest involving it yet. Ouch. Stop that. Man, we need balance. <laughs> um, you can get the balance high enough to be able to resist the cannonballs, which is crazy. But uh, we just don't have that yet. Let's see it coming down this way. This, this way, yeah, it is. There's only North Pointer, so we do have a compass, but that really, really like shows you the direction towards the uh, objective. So there's not really much I can do in terms of like north, south. Uh, there is only um, the Souls level of uh, direction here. There is only this way. Um, but just for, like, kind of where you can see, so you'll come around, you'll see the dudes on the platform. We're turning left. I suppose we have killed the snake. We can come over this way for the loot as well. See if it's coming back this way later on. We're on a good, we're at a good point as well. Um, video length and position-wise, we've got that. Uh, we don't want to deal with these pop boys yet, that's going to be next video at this point. And then down here we have a couple of dogs which we're going to have to fight anyways because you'll have to refight them each time we come back from the, from the checkpoint. You can hit. Oh, it's aggro, you sod. Hot boy has decided he wants to join in. Let's get through here. We ain't about that life. We ain't fighting all that at the same time. Oh no. Not at all. There we go. All gone now. Hey, turn around, are you? Ah! Stop aggroing as a group! Ah, really? Man, I don't know you can do the double. <laughs> Too far away, it should be leashing. I wanted that item near the dogs. They don't normally aggro like that, that's real weird. Come here, you. I don't know why they've aggroed as a group, it's real weird. I guess because these have been activated, maybe once we get to a certain point now they just come for us. Ouch. Oh man, I froze myself. <laughs> That's a good job you didn't come for me there, you could have had me. Over. Our revenge is sweet. And do you know what? I was going to leave those for next episode, but it means we've done it now. We might as well collect the key module. Or module key. How do we say this? It's right here. Where did that one come from? Is that seriously the, the far one? There's one that patrols that like usually is down here. I guess it just decided it wanted a piece. Usually the two pop so there's usually two of these pop boys, and they usually aggro as a pair, but today they've decided only one was coming for me. Go figure. Either way, they were fine now. So to close it out, let's go ahead and pop all of this. Do a bit of powering up, why not? Hopefully it's not more than 2011, that'd be uh, unfortunate. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, so we get two levels here. Uh, we want... We want... Let's go with one of each. Let's go, let's go balanced here. Still remaining defensive right now. Uh, the, more the, the way I see it, the more defensive I remain, um, the more choice you have in how you decide to continue, and I need only 3,000 for the next upgrade of that. Could have done that. Oh no, we need one more bronze still. Um, so in terms of the way that we're doing things right now, this does not require any upgrades because, as far as I know, the, the alchemy damage doesn't really affect how quickly we inflict the status. So being as we're using it for status, we don't really need damage for it, so this just does not need upgrading. So the way we're doing things right now, we have basically all of the choice, which is real nice. 
But uh, that closes us out. We have one new weapon that you could be trying, the Frost Fans. I'm not a fan of the fan weapons. In, in general, I'm not a fan of weapons that don't have much range. Um, I get re I've gotten really used to the range on the uh, on the fire chain and the halberd, so that's probably what I'm just going to end up defaulting to. Either way, thank you for making it this far, and I'll see you all again soon.